If you came to do an interview back then, we'd have been chilling, we'd have sit on the porch, we'd have been eating. But now since the violence got so crazy, it's like we gotta really be on point now. Like, I'm saying, it's, it's all about being smart. You gotta be quick. Lil Durk is one of the many rappers from Chicago who got to the streets before hitting the charts. He saw so much blood and violence that his artistic escape was the only way for him to survive. He saw his father going to jail and his cousins get shot, which made him change his ways and he started rapping. Now he has six albums, countless fans, and one amazing family that keeps him out of trouble. He may have become a public figure now, but still, there are details about his life that are not very well known to the public. Fret not. Today, we will discuss the top 8 things you didn't know about Lil Durk. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video if you also believe Lil Durk is on his way to become the rapper of the 2020s. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. Tragic Childhood Lil Durk was born on the 19th of October 1992 in Chicago. Like many rappers, Lil Durk also didn't have a good childhood. Because of his father's wrongdoings, when he was barely 7 years old, Durk's father, Dante Banks, was sent to jail due to his involvement in criminal activities. This put their family in extreme financial crisis, and Durk was dumped with the responsibility to earn by hooks or by crooks. He dropped out of school and joined street life. He became a part of the Black Disciples, which is one of the most notorious and dangerous gangs in Chicago. He also became a father at just 17 years old and wanted to provide for his child. Number 7. Run-ins with the law As we have told before, Dirk was affiliated with the Black Disciples. His association can confirm that his charge sheet would be no joke. Over the years, he has been charged with weapon charges, felony, aggravated assault, and much more. In 2011, he got sentenced for the first time. His time was to serve for three months. He was associated with a criminal gang and took part in gang wars. Dirk cannot erase his past, but his fans hope that now he may have left for good. He was one of the few lucky ones who got to make it big in another industry, otherwise many from the street aren't able to become something other than just a criminal. Number 6. Dirk's Efforts to Help His Hometown Dirk wasn't dealt with good cards, especially early on in his life, but now he has matured a lot. He has made a name for himself, got enough connections and money to keep him off the streets. He is now a spokesperson for the lost youth of the Windy City. He has seen the harshest realities of life and knows what happens when there is no guidance from the proper authorities. Dirk believes Chicago is filled with talent that only needs the right platform. He wants to work with the right people and change the narrative about the city. He now doesn't believe in violence anymore, as he has seen many of his friends dying at such a young age without getting to experience the true meaning of life. Through his label OTF, he is determined to provide a platform to talented rappers because he has seen the struggle of getting his first big break. Many young rappers often don't have that kind of time, as it could take years for a record manager to notice them, but the Laugh Now Cry Later rapper has pledged to give them the help they deserve. Number 5. Rough Start When Dirk was trying to find a footing in this industry, things were just not going in his favor. It was before he hit the jackpot with Life Ain't No Joke. Established rappers were refusing his request to feature with them and record companies were not interested in signing him. When Chief Key from Glow Gang heard some of his stuff online, he contacted him on his social media platform. They exchanged information on the internet and Keith made him part of his crew. Dirk started working with Keith and he helped him find his rhythm. They were creating mixtapes and finally, his third mixtape got him the attention he so desperately wanted. Number 4. MySpace and YouTube Fame Dirk developed an interest in rapping when he was just in school. He started uploading his tracks online and got some internet fame. When people appreciated his skills, he realized this could be a viable career option for him. Sadly, around the same time, he had to drop out to join the street life due to poverty. After getting involved in a gang, he kept getting into trouble with the law and lost sight of what he actually wanted to pursue. He got his first big break with Life Ain't No Joke in 2015. The track got viral and gave Dirk a great kickstart. It was his third mixtape and instantly got downloaded more than 200,000 times on Datpiff. If only he had pursued his interests earlier, he probably wouldn't have got mixed with the wrong crowd. Number 3. Feud with Chief Keef 
Dirk eventually got signed by Def Jam Recordings and Interscope Records, and this didn't sit well with Chief Keef. Chief's label Glow Gang was the first label that gave Dirk attention when no one was ready to place a bet on him. Keef saw that as betrayal and thus began a long exchange of diss tracks. Dirk started hanging out with Keef's rival and started dissing Chief's crowd. Even on social media, he regularly gave shoutouts to Keef's enemies. This went on for a while, but then in 2014, Dirk decided to end his feud with Chief and made peace with him. Number 2. Relationships and Children Dirk became a father for the first time at the age of 17, and today, he is a father of six kids. He was in a long-term relationship with Nicole Cavone and had two children, Angelo and Bella, with her. After breaking up with her, he had three more children out of multiple relationships. He never disclosed the names of the mothers of Zayden, Dumir, and Siler. In 2018, he proposed to his girlfriend, India Royale, with whom he was expecting a baby girl. They soon got engaged after the birth of their daughter, Willow. Recently, rumors were doing the round of the couple tying the knot, but Dirk cleared it all by saying it isn't a race. They are in no hurry to get married and are enjoying their time together. Number 1. Lil Dirk's Net Worth Over the years, Lil Dirk has become a respectable name in the rap community. He has created six studio albums and many of his tracks have found a way to the top of the charts. He has also been collaborating a lot, especially with the artists with whom he has always idolized, like Meek Mill and Migos. In addition to his thriving rapping career, he has been part of many brand deals and now even working towards creating a huge label called Only The Family. This all has contributed well to creating a great net worth for him. According to the latest celebrity net worth estimate, Dirk has around $4 million to his name. He just got to start a few years ago and even despite his legal troubles, he has been able to save a good amount for himself. Dirk knows he has six children to look after, so fans can expect to see exponential growth in this number. And with that fact, we've come to the very end of this video. If you know something about Lil Dirk that you'd like to share with us, please write a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video as well. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.